presentation that was out of doubt the worst presentation in the history of mankind. <laughs> and at the end of that meeting that night, all six people signed up. I stood at the front door with my wife and I said, if that presentation will make us $600, we're going to be millionaires. <laughs> you know, that company paid me a little over $6 million to do what I've done. And I'll tell you folks, the key to this whole thing is, is the burning desire to do better for your family. You know, being from a small town in South Carolina, you know, being from a small town in South Carolina, I live so far out in the sticks that we get Saturday Night Live on Tuesday. Okay? So, you know, I, I'm a high school graduate, that's how I am. You know, folks, if I hadn't been a good quarterback, I'd still be in the 10th grade in Liberty, South Carolina. I'm the only guy in my hometown that went on two senior trips. I'm telling you that you don't have to be smart to do this. Life is about choices every day that we make. It's about choices. You know, I've been in that company for about three weeks and they invited me over to Orlando, Florida and they had a, what they call the presidential wave. And the, the guy that was the number one guy in that company, he was a southern boy like me. And he stood up in front of the room and he spoke. And he said eight about four times. And my wife punched me and she said, Rick, you can do this. <laughs> See, you can do this too. See, I sat on that very back row, broker than, I didn't have much sense. We didn't have nothing, folks. We were dead broke. That company paid me a little over $6 million. And it changed my life forever. I want to tell you here today, if you're in a, in a profession and you think you're something, I am a professional networker. I am so proud of what I am because I change people's lives every day. I change people's lives every day. And when people say, oh, I could never do that thing, I got your thing. Let me tell you something, folks. I am a professional networker. And I get up every day looking for that person that thinks he's too cute to do this business. Every day I get up looking for that person, okay? Every day. You know, uh, I look back on what's happened in our life because of this industry. You need to be proud, folks. You need to have an attitude about what we do. You need to have an attitude about what we do. You know, I spoke with a guy at my church a couple of weeks ago and showed him the business. He said, Rick, he said, I could never do that networking thing. I could never bother my friends. See, I think I'd do them a favor. I think I'd do them a favor. You know how, you know how he solved this problem? He told me that morning, he said, Rick, we're really struggling. We don't know how we're going to pay our house bill. You know how he solved this problem? I went to the mall two weeks ago. His wife's working at Chick-fil-A. That's how he solved this problem. Folks, we were called to do something. And all of you guys, I know there's a lot of great women in this business. And I know who called me to be the head of my household. But some of you guys, some of you guys need to step up and your plate. Out with me. See, I'm so new in this business, and uh, 
I'm so excited about what we're doing, but I brought some people out here with me. I put a guy in the business. He's in the back, back there. One on, back, on the back row, but he's going to be up here. See, folks, I sit on that back row. I know what it's like to be on that back row. It ain't no fun, is it? It's like being in the nosebleed section at the Magic Game. You can't even see if the ball goes through the loop. But let me tell you something, folks. If you'll get serious about this business, you'll be sitting up here where you belong. I think about DeMond Trump, and what a friend. You know, I, I can't tell you, this business is not about money. It's about the, the friendships that you make along the way. You know, uh, uh, it's been a struggle. You know, in 2007, I was making a quarter of a million dollars a month. I thought that was a lot of money. And you know, things got bad. But I stayed because I loved the people that was involved with me. And it was a tough thing. It was like a divorce when I left. But it's like a honeymoon now. <laughs> it's like a honeymoon now. It's like a honeymoon. And folks, if you're here today and you're waving on where you should be or you're being tugged back and forth, you gotta be struck. Let me tell you something. I wrote down something this morning. I was listening to all of you. It said, be still and listen. I've been listening all morning to people that are unbelievable speakers. You know, I'm not a speaker, but I love people. And I think my burning desire is to see more people financially free. And I think what Holton and Shane and all of these leaders, Edward Hicks, all of you, John, I can't remember, tell you how much I appreciate you being friend of me. You know, I went to, I, I got to go to Park City with the emeralds and the diamonds. And I came home and told my wife, I said, I don't understand it. In the previous company, the owner had a different philosophy. There's a culture here of doing it the right way. And that's what I think makes this different, okay? But they pitted people against people. If you're not on the purple team, you're not on the right team. Folks, I went up there, I came back and told my wife, everybody's so nice. I said, everybody's so friendly to you. But you know what it makes it wonderful? When Holton puts 3% in the global pool, you all love everybody, don't you? That's what makes it wonderful. See, the power of this business is what they've laid out for us here. You don't have to do it. You can't mess this up. If you do this wrong, wrong enough, you'll be sitting right up here in the front. That's all you're going to do. Go get them, Bass. You know, both of those guys were in my downline. What a crock. And if I'd have been smart enough to leave earlier, I may have had them. Some of you are going to wait and you're going to miss the whole boat. I got a guy in the back back here, 30 years in the government. He said, don't you mention my name. So I won't tell you his name's Robert Gaskell. But I want to tell you this. this is. I'll tell you how big I think it is. I know you're not supposed to talk about money here, but I see it clear as a bell. If you don't name it, folks, you can't claim it. This is what I see. I see Holton Bugs and Shane Moran paying me $2 million in the next 12 months. I don't know if you see anything like that or not. I see that. I see that as clear as a bell. But folks, let me tell you something. Don't be like that guy that didn't have time to do this. Don't do the other thing. You know, I go to the largest Baptist church in Clearwater, Florida. Half the people in my church think I'm in a cult. <laughs> but my wife ain't got a job. What's your wife do? Some of, some of you guys, some of you guys' idea of an opportunity is getting your wife a second job. Is, I got six of the most wonderful grandkids in the world, and I'm missing Memorial Day this weekend with my family. But this is really my family. This is who I am. And I mean, I love it. You know, if, if it was all about the money, it wouldn't be worth it, folks. They're only going to remember. They're only going to remember what you leave behind. Let me tell you this story before I leave. My father was a drunk. Killed seven people in a car wreck. Me and my brother had to bury him. That's not going to happen at Rick Ricketts' house. Nobody's going to have to pay my funeral because I wasn't willing to go out and pay the price for my family. 
And what I want to challenge all of you today is been doing half of what you should have been doing. This is too big to play with. Too big to play with. I want to tell you that the most powerful thing I heard today, and I heard Holton do something a little bit different, but the guy that said this morning, he quit asking God for things. He's already given you everything you need. Folks, he's equipped you. He's equipped you. You need to go out and do what you got to do. I want to thank you for being, being so kind to me and my wife. Come on, I'll never forget it. Yes, David. Uh, Holton, thanks for believing in me. Yes. Thanks for enough to care to call me back when I was too stupid to listen. Too stupid to listen. Folks, we got something special here. Yeah. Let's just go out and change the world. God bless you. Thank you.